What's up guys? So today we have a triple Yabo. See the Yabo box there. We got a Christmas Yabo right here from Germany. Uh, and I have uh, an envelope here from uh, Megan and Nick. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with this envelope. So today's uh, EDC is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. This one is in uh, 20 CV with the tan G10. I've been rocking this for two days now, and I love it. Obviously, Paramilitary 2 is a classic Spyderco design. Uh, really nothing nothing bad about it, honestly. But the 20 CV is a very nice bonus. So, like I said, we're gonna start here. All right, compression lock, which everyone loves. All right, so, it does say that it's okay, okay to be on camera. Oh, it's a really beautiful Christmas card. Very cool. Nick, Megan, and Remington. Oh, that's awesome. So the back says, Merry Christmas. My boyfriend and I love watching your channel and enjoy watching your Battle Box videos. From Nick Jepson and Megan Burgess. That is so awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Really glad you uh, enjoy the videos, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas. And you do have an adorable dog, Remington. Very, very cool. So, put that up with the Christmas cards. I very much appreciate that. All right, next we have a package from Germany, from Thomas in Hamburg. All right, break out that spider co again. A nice little slice on the side. Gotta love a nice sharp knife. So let's see. Oh, we got a wrap package. Very nice. And a card. Okay. Oh, and another card. Let's see. Wow, that is, first of all, this is a very cool Christmas card. Look at this, all right, let me, let me kind of pan. It's in German, I have no idea what it says on the bottom. This is a really, really cool vintage looking card. So let's see what this letter says here. It says, um, Dear Jeff, I've been following your channel for several years. Uh, this letter is to say a very big thank you for the effort that you have put into making such uh, inspiring videos. Since you mentioned at one or two occasions your German heritage, I thought I could surprise you with a knife related to that country and a Christmas card stamped back in 1907. Wow, the card is relating to the time when the original version of this knife was still used by many German soldiers. I bought the knife brand new for you. However, it is developing a patina quickly. That's why I uh, have been giving it a little oiling. I wish you, Christina, Gus, and all of your viewers a wonderful Christmas from Thomas. Uh, P.S. What happened to your Patreon account? First off, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> we'll talk about Patreon uh, in just a second. This is, this is really cool. I didn't even open the knife yet. I'm totally blown away. That's uh, very cool. I love old cards like this. Um, most times when I give Christina a Christmas or birthday card, I hop on eBay and I find something vintage, just to be different. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna spend four or five dollars for a card at the, the, you know, at the store today, it's just kind of cool getting one from the 30s or 40s or 60s or whatever. I just I find some random cards sometimes on there uh, for the same price or less. It's just it's just different. But that is absolutely awesome. Real quick about Patreon, uh, a lot of people do ask me about that. Years ago, when YouTube was doing one of their older changes, who knows? Because they're constantly changing things. Um, I was affected quite a bit, just like everyone else was. And um, I started a Patreon account uh, to help counterbalance that a little bit. And I did giveaways on that account. And my account was suspended for illegal gambling. It's kind of dumb because there are dozens of other people who have Patreon accounts that do giveaways as well. Uh, and it would literally be the same thing. What it comes down to is because Patreon is a paying service, and it's not free, the giveaway is technically a raffle. It's a paid raffle, which is, again, technically illegal gambling. Uh, it's not something I considered. I just wanted to do something nice and give, give away things for the people who were supporting me. Um, so who knows, might try a new one in the future. I just, I, like I said, I was so discouraged by it, uh, the experience, and I was so you know, taken back by it. Like, you know, why? Why did they close the account? Um, so I just never try it again, but uh, who knows, maybe we'll open another one up in the future. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful card. Put that off to the side there. And let's see what this knife is. I'm going to cut this carefully. Just gonna do a little slice in there. 
It feels like it's, yeah, it's still in packaging. So I don't want to ruin the packaging. Oh man, <laughs> an honor messer. Oh my God, how about this? This is the uh, Murkatzer. Uh, of course, I'm, I know I'm not pronouncing that right, probably. Uh, Mercator, I don't know, multi-tool. This, this is so, so cool. It's actually really funny timing. Uh, because I was recently talking to another um, a German YouTuber, uh, and we were talking about this. Uh, obviously, very well-known German knife, and this is the multi-tool version of it. This is absolutely awesome. This is so cool. I will, uh, I'll definitely do a separate video in the future on this. Um, like I said, I mean, they have a lot of versions of this. They have ones with different types of scales and stuff, and they're usually very plain. This is kind of the ritzy version. Like I said, having, uh, you know, different tools in here in the handle. We have a very beefy awl. All right, we have, of course, corkscrew in the back, which is very cool. And then on the front here, we have the very old style um, can opener. And you'll see these uh, can openers um, on like the original Boy Scout knives way back in the day, you know, the camp style knives from like the 20s and 30s and stuff. So very, very cool to see that. It's an old design that definitely works well. That is super, super cool. Let's see. So carbon blade, it looks like. Again, in German. Oh, here's just some English. All right, carbon steel blades are susceptible to rust. And that's what he's talking about, the patina that's starting to form. Very, very cool. That's, that's awesome. Wow. What a, what a cool surprise. Like I said, I just happened to be talking about this in the last couple weeks. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Just a wonderful Christmas present. So Merry Christmas to you as well and everyone else in Germany and around the world. So cool. So let me put this off to the side for a second. I will definitely be <laughs> playing with that as soon as I shut the uh, camera off. But we have a third Yabo. So let's go ahead and cut into this. We'll tape on the side. I can cut across the top here, just like so. And we'll tape on this side as well. Okay, put that blade away. Oh, okay, so this was a trade that I was doing, but marked it uh, Yabo, so we can open here on camera. Trade for Endura uh, with Spidey Edge. Read on camera if you would like. Do not show on camera, okay. Okay, that's the return address. So, Merry Christmas, Jeff, uh, from my family to yours. Thank you for being one of the best YouTubers out there. Thank you for all the great advice and making my passion for knives even bigger. Hope Gus and the wife are well. Uh, and Merry Christmas from Brandon, the EDC Brandon on uh, Instagram. So yeah, I have a fully serrated uh, Spyderco Endura that I was trading for this knife right here. So as you guys know, I'm constantly doing trades and stuff. Occasionally they'll be caught on camera here. Sometimes I show it, sometimes I don't. Uh, sometimes it's just kind of boring. Like I said, there's tons of knives I get and use a little bit and you know, you guys never end up even seeing them. But this is a Kershaw Dividend. And you can see it's manual. Here's the spring. This is actually an assisted knife that he de-assisted to make it a manual knife, right? Liner lock here. Let me give that another shot with the flipper. There we go. This one is in M390, all right, which is on the blade. USA made Kershaw. There we go, as you can see from the uh, the flag on the handle as well. M390 being an amazing steel. So yeah, very, very cool knife. So, I mean, initial impressions, I definitely like it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna throw the spring back in. Uh, I might just keep it out for now. It seems totally fine. You know, as a little manual flipper. Like I said, just nice and smooth, simple handle design, simple blade shape, nice point on there. And again, the M390 is just awesome. So very, very cool. So yeah, that was a, a trade I'm doing. So I'm gonna actually put this other card with this information off the side so it doesn't get thrown out in an accident. And that's pretty much it. So that is the, the Triple Yabo. Thank you so much from everyone. I mean, everyone out there, it doesn't matter if you send packages, if you send letters, if you send messages. I know there's so many awesome, genuine people who don't even comment. You just watch the videos. And seriously, everyone out there, I hope you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Of course, if you celebrate it, if you don't, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Whatever you do, I hope it is wonderful for you and your friends and family. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.
I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, I post videos every single day. So whether you subscribe or not, because uh, most times these days, if you subscribe to something, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to send any the videos anyway. Uh, but check back on the channel every day and you're going to see something new. So that's it for now. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.